All right, well, we're here in a ponderosa pine forest on the Front Range in Colorado, ponderosa pine ecosystem. So I want to start here because this is our, at least in, in Colorado, this is our lower elevation forest. So we're dealing with uh, fairly warm and fairly dry. So fire plays a big role down in these ecosystems and mostly surface fire. And I want to start off by talking about how fuels in particular can really affect surface fire behavior. Uh, we'll get into later in the semester how climate really affects surface fire or fire behavior in general. But right now I just want to talk about fuels in general. And one thing about ponderosa pine, there's a lot of ecosystems around the world that are long needled pine ecosystems. Uh, several things about uh, these needles is they are long, they're in fascicles of two or three in case of ponderosa pine, mostly two in this area. Um, Oh, they uh, break apart. There's a lot of surface to volume ratio in these, meaning that they dry out very, very well. The other thing about ponderosa pine needles, when you see them on the ground, there's a lot of bulk density in these. They don't just fall down and create a nice compact fuel bed, but there's a lot of air. There's a lot of air circulation, both for fire flame to actually get in there for flame to occur, but then also they dry out faster. So again, this combination of, of low uh, bulk density, lots of surface to volume ratio, these fuels really dry out. Another thing about ponderosa pine fuels, if we can go over to this little one right here, is when they drop off of the big trees, they drop down here and they sort of drape and they fall into the small trees. Um, dead fuel amount in these seedlings and saplings at the bases of the trees. When fire does come along, it's going to tend to um, cause more fire in these seedlings and saplings, uh, killing the seedlings and saplings around the large overstory trees, reducing competition. That's going to be really critical when we particularly start talking about uh, management and what's gone in the last century and a half in ponderosa pine ecosystems. Um, one of the first papers I'm going to have everybody read is by Bob Much, where he actually uh, posited that these um, um, needles casts falling down into seedlings and saplings actually sets up a, an energy potential in a lot of these ecosystems. Uh, just the way the fuel beds are arranged in ponderosa pine ecosystems and other ecosystems, um, that fire is actually a major player in forest structure in these ecosystems, and a point we're very much going to come back to.